Hey everybody, Scott Sprinter here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Tuesday, March 5th, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment. First, a quick note before we get to Major League Baseball wins total, our next to be released, and also our college basketball free pick for Tuesday. Quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, it's a real cool way to give it a try. You click on the link below this uh, video, get set up for a free $60 account on Tuesday. You can use those free $60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else for that matter over at DocSports.com. Again, it all starts by clicking on the link below the video. <clears throat> I wanted to also mention that uh, right now you can receive the rest of my March Madness College Basketball, which includes the remaining regular season games, the conference tournaments, all the small tournaments, and of course the big dance right through April's championship game. You can get all of that for just $299 right now over at DocSports.com. Love this time of season. Uh, we're on a heater in college basketball as we head into March 5th. We've got some big action going on Tuesday that I'm going to tell you about in just a moment. Uh, but here's what we've done. We've garnered almost $2,000 for $100 per unit betters just in the last eight days in college basketball. It's been a red-hot run. We cashed three big play releases during this run. A seven-unit play on Saturday with Gonzaga knocking off St. Mary's. We had a six-unit winner in the mix. We had a five-unit winner in the mix all during this run. 3-0, perfect 3-0 with our last three. I've got a big seven-unit play going on Tuesday slate in college basketball. Three college basketball plays in this package. One of them happens to be a seven-unit main event as we look to continue to stay red hot as we get closer to the bigger conference tournaments and, of course, into the big dance. But again, we love this time of year. You can tell by the record up about 2000 bucks over the past eight or nine days for $100 per unit betters and the big plays sweeping going 3-0 and over the past several days. As you can tell, I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Last night was a beast and a half trying to cut the video, man, break it out into sweat, coughing, every other sentence, and uh, had to cut it short. Still a little bit out of breath, but we're uh, much better, feeling much better than we did over the weekend. And, of course, last Thursday when this all started, uh, haven't been sick in three or four years. And then, and then I get this nasty uh, cold, and, and my worst cold I've had that I can remember in a long, long time. Probably the worst I've felt going back at least a decade. But uh, slowly getting back in the mix, the cool thing about – you know, what I do for a living is I can still handicap the games from my home. I, I don't have to go anywhere. And uh, that's, of course, what makes it great because we were still able to, even though I passed on Friday in college baskets, uh, was able to handicap Saturday's games, Sunday's games, Monday, now Tuesdays, and so on. Uh, but anyway, that is the advantage of uh, working basically as a handicapper to better when you're not feeling too hot. Can't get out and make those radio shows, but you can certainly handicap the games day to day. And I also wanted to mention that we appreciate all the well wishes that we've gotten from all of you guys who tune into these videos each and every day of the week. Uh, been very nice to hear all the well wishes about getting better and over on Twitter. Uh, do appreciate all that. But we look to be getting back into form. And I'd say I'm about 70% now, so probably by Thursday we should be back to 100%. But we got a lot to talk about. First of all, college basketball. I just mentioned that three-play package going on Tuesday's card led by a seven-unit main event. We're 59 and 38 with a couple of pushes with our three play trifectas going back over a year, over a calendar year. That's 61% against the spread with about 100 plays. And again, we've got three more going on Tuesday, led by that seven unit play. Don't miss out on that. We look to stay red hot in college basketball. I, I did lose on uh, Tuesday, excuse me, on Monday in the NBA, but we do have another play in the NBA going on Tuesday night. One play on Tuesday. And uh, it's available at DocSports.com. Also, uh, on Tuesday morning, our NBA run up over $3,000 still, uh, going all the way back to January 2nd for $100 per unit better. So nice run in college basketball, nice run in the NBA as we round down the stretch, uh, getting close to the stretch run for the NBA playoffs. And, of course, with March Madness now in full effect in college baskets. And we'll also have NHL. We've got one play we like in the NHL. Uh, for Tuesday's card. So that's all available Tuesday morning over at DocSports.com. Uh, before we get to the free pick, I did want to mention again, grab that package right now. Takes care of the rest of the college basketball season through the Final Four, through the championship game in April. $299 gets it all uh, from me, Scott Sprite. So we've done 16-5 and five the last 21 years. 16 winning years last 21 years 
with March Madness plays, so don't miss out over at DocSports.com. Want to get to our next Major League Baseball wins total before I jump into the free pick uh, in college basketball for Tuesday night. Let's do that now. We've had two thus far, and our third is going to be under 87.5 wins. You can find it right around 87.5 uh, with the Milwaukee Brewers. Regression in 2019 so far has basically been what I've been about with this third play, three plays now that I've given out with these baseball wins totals, and I expect it to hit Milwaukee a bit also. Uh, not as hard as it'll hit Seattle. We talked about them last week before I got sick. But uh, listen, when I look at this Milwaukee rotation, really not a true number one, maybe not even a true number two. You got a lot of middle-range guys, um, decent pitchers that are going to start at the top. But for me, in the way I power rate guys, I just don't see a real true number one. I do like what they've done uh, with you know going out and getting the great catcher, Yasmani Grandal. Of course, he's an addition and a plus to any team that he lands on. And, of course, they've got the great Christian Yellick, of course, back again for this season. So there are a couple of real nice players. The bullpen won't be horrible, none of that kind of stuff. Uh, but this is the third best team in the division. And really just about on par with Pittsburgh. I got a power rated slightly ahead of the Pirates, but, of course, behind both the Cubbies and the Cardinals. And uh, also, I, I do think that it's a situation uh, where they did overperform a little bit last year and not going to be able to do so this particular season. So I look at their 87 and a half wins. I look at what they did last year. I also like to look at what they've got coming up on the schedule this year. Obviously, the divisional teams always remain the same, but uh, the power rating of the teams change uh, from the teams they're going to play. And if I break it all down like I do and see what I think a team is going to do as far as wins totals are concerned, power rate their schedule, I have Milwaukee winning 81 games. Again, the total's right around 87 and a half. And I do believe they're going to drop off a good six and a half, seven games here. So again, not a big drop off like we talked about with Seattle last week. Not that big. But again, a team that's going to probably have to struggle to finish right at 500 in the 2019 campaign. So our third baseball wins total prop, under 87 and a half wins with the Milwaukee Brewers. And uh, listen, I uh, wanted to get to that free pick in basketball in just a moment, but uh, also wanted to mention that we will have our next baseball wins total prop in the next day or two, uh, either on Wednesday's video or on Thursday's video. So obviously we'll let you know about that when the time comes. And, and again, thanks for uh, putting up with me here. It feels like I'm going in extra slow motion, uh, not feeling great, and also having the meds uh, that drive me a little bit crazy when I'm doing these videos. But uh, our free pick on uh, Tuesday night, we won on Monday here with Virginia. Nice win over the Qs. Tonight, we're going to back another favorite, a road favorite, and that is Team 645, Nevada, laying about 13.5 as we cut this video over the Air Force Falcons. And listen, the, the pack are off that tough loss at Utah State up in Logan over the weekend last time out and uh, got a little crazy after the game. And they're going to be missing one of their star players in all likelihood. We're going to talk about that in just a second. But here's the issue. They can still take the number one seed in the Mountain West into the tournament, into the conference tournament, if they went out. they got to win tonight against Air Force. they got to win over the weekend in their regular season finale against the San Diego State Aztecs. So they got to win these last two games, basically. Air Force has won three straight games. Uh, it is their home finale. But if Nevada is focused, Air Force, I don't think, has a chance to hang around and keep it inside this number. That first meeting these two teams played, Nevada played a bad game, still found a way to win the game uh, by 15 points, 67-52. to 52. And they did not play well at all in that contest. But there are a couple of factors that I think they're going to be able to use, Nevada, to keep themselves focused throughout on this one. One, uh, they can still wrap up that postseason number one seed with a win tonight. And I'm talking about their conference tournament number one seed with a win tonight. And, of course, again, in that regular season finale against San Diego State. And the second reason, I think, that can help keep them motivated, it looks like Jordan Caroline will be suspended for this game. He went nutso, as did a few players and coaches following the loss to Utah State. Uh, he's likely to be suspended tonight. Uh, his loss would further, I think, focus everybody else involved in this game for Nevada uh, to pick up the slack for the loss of one great player in Jordan Caroline. But this is such a talented team, I think it will serve to refocus this team on the task at hand. And then, of course, Eric Musselman can instill a little bit more motivation by talking about Air Force having won three straight games. And Air Force is doing a lot of chatting, a lot of talking in local media 
about how they feel that they can win this game against the Wolfpack. So anyway, uh, they've got a lot of reasons to be motivated for this game. Uh, game. They've got a huge talent edge, obviously. Um, and they're also, by the way, on a 19-6-1 spread run off a straight-up loss. They've covered four of the last five in Colorado Springs, and I'd like them to get the victory here. So we'll make it Nevada minus 13 and a half, your free pick in college basketball for Tuesday. Again, don't forget about the premium stuff over at DocSports.com on Tuesday. I've got NBA one play. I've got NHL one play. I've got the three-play trifecta, three big sides in, in Tuesday's uh, college basketball led by that big seven-unit play. We like to go to 4-0 and over the past week with those top-rated plays, and we look to go well over $2,000 for $100 per unit betters over the past seven or eight days. So jump on board there. Don't forget about that uh, rest of the season package, March Madness package, which gets all the March plays for just $299 over at DocSports.com. All right, I'm Scott Spritzer. Let's put Tuesday in the win column, and we'll be right back here Wednesday, hopefully by 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific, or shortly thereafter. Again, best of luck on Tuesday. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com.